Big things for Turbo Direct in 2021. Remember that video? Here's an update for you guys. Everybody, welcome back. Here's another video for you. It's an update from one of our previous videos you guys have seen regarding big things for Turbo Direct in 2021. Now, what we showed you was pretty much all of the components in the first video, which I'll put in the description down below, uh, about all the components that Turbo Direct have had experience in manufacturing, from bullet compressor wheels, turbine housings, et cetera, et cetera. We're sitting with a situation now where we've actually gone and approved, or the final design, approved the final design on our latest compressor housing. Um, it's got a specific AR size to be able to flow our bullet compressors, which are forged. And uh, we've got a couple of other things to show you guys on a range of turbochargers that are designed 100% by TurboDirect. Nothing is bought off the shelf at all. Every single component is designed in-house, manufactured either by ourselves or by a company overseas, which has basically got a reputable name, huge experience, and a proven track record with regards to the manufacturing of those components. What I want to show you guys is something in the CAD office, which we're going to take you to now. And um, I think you guys are going to be quite impressed and quite excited, hopefully as excited as we are. All right, guys, so we're in the CAD office and we wanted to just show you some of the designs on individual components that we're busy with. One of them is a completely bespoke compressor housing with a custom AR. This compressor housing has got some really, really nice features other than the obvious speed sensor port and boost only source uh, being ported shroud there's a lot more to this compressor housing that we've actually gone and changed and updated we've combined some technologies from different manufacturers to bring an up-to-date technologically advanced compressor housing that is going to give you absolutely everything you need for high flow uh, proper boost source control when you're using electronic boost controllers as well as speed sensor controls and feedbacks etc etc the compressor housing, as we've mentioned, has got custom ARs. We're not going to mention what the ARs are yet. Uh, there's some internal structures and some nice improvements on the internal structures for various reasons um, that are obviously going to be beneficial to boost, boost response and obviously ultimate flow when you start running higher, higher boost pressures. That's one of the components that we've gone and finalized. Uh, the drawing is finalized and everything is uh, ready to basically go. We are busy making the mold as we speak and castings will come out in a couple of weeks. The next thing I want to show you is some of the other internal components. There's a thrust collar, which is obviously another critical internal component. It's designed and manufactured by ourselves. Backplate, I'm not going to show you the other side of the backplate. There's a couple of uh, uh, custom uh, IP that sits on the opposite side. However, this is a bullet aluminium backplate, which uh, is basically going to be coupled together with the rest of the turbocharger. Once again, manufactured in-house. The bearing housing is designed by myself. This is not a copy of anything. This, is, this does not resemble anything. Absolutely everything about this bearing housing is designed by myself in-house. There is no fitting that is interchangeable. There is no size, internal structure, water galleries, oil galleries that are anywhere near something similar to what you've seen before. We've got twin water cooling ports on both sides. We have got a custom inlet, an oil inlet with specific oil galleries. Um, we've got a cooling system which is going to be second to none. We've got a drain design which has been uh, modified and created specifically for a reason. And um, we're looking at being, being able to install these turbochargers at a much higher axial angle to allow ease of installation in tighter geography because of a specific design which I can't show you much of now. This is actually a patent pending design uh, but in the actual oil return section and the design of the oil return inside of the bearing housing internally we have put together something that will allow a much higher axial angle when installing in order to allow more flexibility with uh, tighter spaces in uh, in the installation under the hood. So this is the bearing housing and finally I want to show you the actual assembly. 
So we actually have a completely assembled, obviously you can't see the design of the turbine here, but there's the bearing housing, back plate, compressor housing, thrust collar, cartridge, and everything internal is, uh, is obviously assembled. We haven't included the uh, compressor wheel at, uh, at the moment. We can show you some of the internal structure. Basically what you see is back plate integration to collar, bearing cartridge, and shaft. The shaft has got twin seal rings on it, so does the collar, and there's some various other features together with the specific design which uh, we'll be releasing in, uh, in good time. But uh, just as an update for you guys and just as a summary, this entire turbocharger, every single component internally is designed and manufactured by ourselves. Yes, the turbine head is manufactured by a turbine head manufacturer and we get them electron beam welded to the shaft. The actual shaft itself is nothing similar to anything else on the market today. There's absolutely nothing that resembles a Garrett or any other product. The thread is different, the dimensions after the shoulder and after the neck are completely different. There's a lot of different uh, uh, dimensions in the design of the specific uh, shaft, which you will not be able to find anywhere else. Uh, this shaft will obviously be manufactured for us, uh, it, according to our specifications with electron beam welding, uh, done by CVE, which is basically a vacuum. We've also got bullet compressors which we will do ourselves, bullet back plates we'll do ourselves, the bullet bearing housings we'll do ourselves, and the compressor housings will obviously be done by a foundry. It'll come back to Turbo Direct and we will do the final machining and uh, radius profiling and everything on the internal structure of the housings for our bullet compressors. Um, the thrust collars are not made by us, but that's done by a general engineering company. Uh, we, we take control of the, uh, of the quality, obviously. And then the bearing cartridge we buy from uh, bearing manufacturers who have got a reputable name, who have got experience and currently manufacture for some of the turbocharger manufacturers out there. Alright guys, so we shared quite a lot with you in the CAD office. Um, I just wanted to show you another little picture. I'm not going to give you a close-up of this. This is a 3D print of the actual housing itself. Um, it's got all the dimensions, the tolerances and everything. We've actually gone and put a compressor wheel in here and uh, we verified the radius profiles and some of the other dimensions that are critical to the design and they all work out 100%. So every part of the designs that we're actually responsible for get printed, 3D printed, either in a PLA, TPU, or we actually do a resin print, which is obviously a much higher uh, resolution and a, a much better uh, quality finish. Um, and once those have been done, we actually build the turbocharger out of resin and we assemble it um, inside of an actual bearing cartridge. And uh, I'll show you guys that in the next video when we get there. But for now, I hope you guys have enjoyed that. I hope you guys are excited as we are with, with regards to the uh, new range of turbochargers coming out. They will be released by the end of the year. We're pushing for the end of the year. If it all works out well, I think uh, it will be market ready and tested by the end of the year. I hope you guys like that. Please comment down below, like, subscribe. Catch you guys next time.